talking about here recently, so uh, just so you know, I'm recording this now, is we've been talking about heat, all right? And so the question that I want us to consider here as a group, uh, just to make sure that you all are all on the right track with this, how much heat is required to be removed to, to cool 140 degrees Celsius steam? So we're starting out with hot steam, and we want to go to negative 10 degrees Celsius ice. All right. So uh, here's, here's the deal, all right? We are looking at these heating and cooling curves. And what I want you to realize is that uh, we've got temperature on the y-axis here. We've got sort of time on the x-axis. And so we're going to be basically starting out hot and we're gonna be cooling it. And the reason that this has this shape and I'm gonna kind of go around and if I'm putting you on the spot, you can take a pass and you can say, Mr. Carla, I don't know, this is hard stuff for me and that's okay. And I'm having to go from a little bit of memory here. Let me see if I can remember. So Martin, uh, the first thing that we're gonna to have to do here is we're gonna to have to cool this 140 degrees Celsius steam. And we gotta cool it down. And what's the first temperature that is kind of important? What is, where do I sort of go at first in this problem? 140 degrees steam's, steam's gotta cool down to what? 100 degrees Celsius. Because what happens at 100 degrees Celsius? It turns back into a liquid. It turns back into a liquid, all right. Now, uh, Grace, if you're there, is this a temperature change or a phase change? Um. Temperature change. This is a temperature change, and there's a there's a certain formula associated with temperature change. Q equals. Do you remember what that formula is? M C delta T. Yeah, exactly. And so, there's really only two formulas here. There's M C delta T, and then there's M H. So the reason it's M C delta T is because it is literally a temperature change. Now, uh, let me go over there to uh, Chris Short. If I tell you, and I didn't tell you enough information here, I need to tell you that this is, and we'll just make it easy, it's 10 grams, right? That's the mass. So if I've got a mass of 10 grams, <clears throat> uh, Chris Short, we're going to put 10 in for M. Now, C is, what does C stand for, Chris Short? And it is okay if we don't know, man. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's where you want to go back and you want to look at, and you're never going to have to memorize this stuff, guys, but it's the specific heat. It is literally the amount of energy required to change one gram of substance by one degree Celsius. Now, the tricky part to this is you'll notice that um, water, the liquid water, has a value for C, but so does solid water, and it's a different value, and so does steam, and it's a different value. So there's literally three different values like that visual there three and so you've got to use the right c value chris short so since we're going from 140 degree steam to 100 degree steam which of these numbers do we choose here bud the of uh, steam the two point that's zero. exactly right so we're going to go with the two and there's just so many places where you can go wrong with these problems guys so you have to pick the right value all right, nice job there. All right, Riley Bransford, if you are thinking about the temperature change for this, I'm going from 140 down to 100. Is that a gain or a loss of temperature, Riley? Uh, is that a loss? It absolutely is. And so would that be a, a positive sign or a negative sign? Uh, negative. And we're going to lose how many degrees of temperature here, Riley, going from 140 to 100? 40 degrees. Perfect. All right. Now I'm hoping, and some of you guys are off to the races. I just want to make sure that we're on the right track with this. Does anyone have that actually calculated already? Negative 800. All right. And can I get a, a verbal confirmation that that's correct from a couple of you guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Now here's the thing. This is just the first step. All we've done is cool it from 140 down to 100 and now we have to do the second step step two all right we've got to take our 100 degrees celsius steam and let's see here let me go over there i think i saw julia Teixeira, uh texera sorry julia 
what's that 100 degree steam got to turn into? Um, 100 degrees um, water. 100 degree Celsius liquid water. And is that a temperature change or a phase change? Uh, phase change. Phase change. And I've got my two equations right here. So it's kind of a slam dunk. So Julia, which formula do we use here? The MC delta T or? The, um, the like H1. And M H1. times H. Now, yeah. remember that there were two H's. There's an H fusion. And then there's an H vaporization. I'm up here talking about steam. So do you think I want to use the fusion or the vaporization number? And this is for Julia. And um, if it's steam, has it vaporized? Um, yeah. Yeah. So you use the vaporization up here when you're going between sort of the gas and liquid state. So I'm going to use H vap. Now, the reason I'm doing this one with you guys is because I'm losing energy here. So nicely done there, Julia. Uh, Will Voigt, I'm going to come to you here, bud. So Will, do you think I have to put energy in or take energy out to cool this down? Uh, take energy out. Yeah. And so do you think that that's a positive sign or a negative sign? Negative. Yeah. So I, I literally am just going to throw the negative sign in here. It doesn't show up in the formula at all, but I'm just being mindful that Dude, this has to lose energy. So I'm going to throw a negative sign in there and I'm going to take my mass, which is 10. And Will, now that I have these values down here, what am I going to multiply by? Uh, 4.184. Uh, I am going to multiply by 4.184. Now I would do that if I was doing the MC delta T formula, Will. Oh, are we not? I thought that was for, for moving to water. Well, so we use MC delta T. These are my C values mm -hmm. if it's a temperature change. Okay. If it is a phase change, I have to use yeah. either HVAP or H fusion. Yeah, so then HVAP um, for 2,260. Perfect. And so, the, again, we're doing this together because there are a ton of places that you can make mistakes, guys. And I want to just give you an opportunity to see it, to ask questions. And so if I do that, I think I'm getting negative 22600. So I'm going to underline these and I'm going to pause for just a second. All right. Any questions so far from you guys? All right. Now we continue then. All right. I'm going to scooch this up because we've got to now continue along our journey. So we've got 100 degrees Celsius liquid water. So we've taken out enough heat to cool it from the steam at 140 to 100 degree steam, 100 degree steam to 100 degree liquid water. And now, Lauren Rosenthal, I've got to take my 100 degree Celsius liquid water. And what is the sort of the next part of this diagram here? What is that showing us? Going to zero degrees Celsius. And that is still zero degrees Celsius. What is it? Is it solid, liquid, or gas? Liquid. It is still liquid water. So, Lauren, is this a temperature change or a phase change? Temperature change. It is a temperature change. And so we go back and we use our MC delta T formula. And at this point, I'm going to say, all right, MC delta T, throw in our numbers. We've got 10. Now, we again have to be careful. Which C value should we use, Lauren? A one of water, 4.184. Wonderful, because I don't want to use the one for ice because I'm not talking about ice. I don't want to use the one for steam. I want to use the C value for water. That is telling me that I have to have 4.184 joules of energy to change one gram of water by one degree Celsius. And then, uh, Lauren, I'm going to finish it off here. What is the total temperature change here going from 100 to zero? Negative 100. And that negative sign is important because am I gaining or losing energy here? Losing. Perfect. So at this point, we throw that in a calculator. Can somebody, anybody, throw me out a number here? Negative 41840. 41840. Because I've got to move it over one, two, three places. One, two, three. Is that right? Double check it. Four one. I got negative four one eight four. I, I, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. 
Thank you guys. All right, now, you know what? <clears throat> Just because I wanna do one other thing with you guys, all right? And because uh, use your nonverbal communication there over in the participants window. Uh, are these problems long? Give me a yes or a no. <laughs> Do these problems take a lot of time? Do they have a lot of little wrinkles in them? All right. Some people say yes, some people say no. All right, it's the nice thing about this nonverbal communication. Some people are telling me that they wanna go faster or slower. Uh, some people wanna go take a break. We'll be done here shortly. All right, so check this out. At the next step, step four, Swasti, I'm gonna come to you here. We've now got to take that zero degrees Celsius liquid water and we've got to turn it into what? Solid, I mean ice. It's got to turn into zero degrees Celsius solid ice. And is that a temperature change or a phase change? Phase change. And so what formula do we use? Is it MC delta T? No. No, it's going to be M times H. And is it H fusion? or H vaporization? Fusion. Yes, because vaporization is associated with gases. We don't see any gases here. So we're gonna use H fusion, and we're gonna go 10 times, and I've gotta scooch this up so you guys can still see the numbers. H times uh, Swasti, would you say what number? 335.5. I agree with that. And so, now, careful, careful, careful. Is this gaining or losing energy? It's losing because you've got to take yeah. energy out. You've got to cool it off. So I'm going to throw a negative sign in there because I've got to represent a loss. So it's going to be 3355J. All right. And now we take a deep breath. We are almost home. All right. Uh, I'm going to go over here. Thank you, Swasti. Jack, the last step. All right. We wanted to go all the way from 140 degree uh, steam to negative 10 degree ice. So check this out. Jack, I'm at zero degrees Celsius ice. I need to go to negative 10 degrees Celsius ice. Is that a temperature change or a phase change, Jack? That's a temperature, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And so what formula should we use there, big guy? I forgot the name. Okay, giving you a hint right here. Is this a temperature change or phase change? Look for the one with the temperature change. The top one. Yeah, MC delta T. And so we go ahead and plug in. We've got 10 grams of ice. Now, Jack, which of these C values should I use? I have this like thing in the way. I can't see it. Oh, you can't see oh, it? There it is. No, I can see it now. I just okay, to... okay. What was the question? So what C value do you use? Yeah, it's hard when you've got stuff like on the computer. No worries. We just want to know what C value. Is it the steam one? Remember what we're doing. We're doing zero degree ice to 10 degree uh, below zero oh, ice. Oh, so the ice. We'd want to use the value for the ice. And again, I'm emphasizing this because 2. there are- 2.11. Yeah, 2.11. There's so many places you can make mistakes. Last question, Jack. If I am undergoing a temperature change, I'm going from zero down to negative 10. What would the temperature change be? 10 degrees. And is it a gain or a loss of 10 degrees? It's a loss. So what sign must I put in front of that 10? Negative. Yep. So we throw that in there, 10 times 10 is 100, and so I think we have this. Okay, guys. Oh, my goodness. Long problem, all right? But here's what I've got. I've got all these numbers. What on earth do I do with these numbers? And I'm throwing that to anybody who wants to pipe in. You add, them all up. Together. add them all add up. Them up. That's exactly right. So you would just throw them in your calculator. You take the 800 plus the 22600 plus 4184, da, 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 and that would tell you how much heat is required to take out of the material to cool Can this. Can we put thing. the negative? And you absolutely should put the negative because Swasti, that negative is there to tell you that you are not putting energy in, you're taking it out. All right, so if I had to finish this up, I'd say that this is step three, this is step four, 
and this is step five, and I'll get my hand out of there. And I'm gonna leave this screen here in just a second, and then we're gonna do one other thing that, uh, we're gonna try it, it's a little experiment. Um, questions from you guys about kind of the heat side of things, doing this type of problem. Uh, using the nonverbal communication, uh, do you feel successful with this stuff? Give me a yes or a no or a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the nonverbal stuff under the participants window there. All right, that gives me just an idea of where some of you guys stand on this. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing. I'm also gonna stop recording so you don't have to worry about uh, your ugly mugs. Being